<laughs> What's funny is that's what uh, Tim Dillon was saying this weekend at McGooby's. What? He was like, I was talking to these younger comics, and I'm like, quit now. He's like, because the people, the winners in this, I remember when I started, and I was like, yeah. suckers, nine to five with a family, boring ass life. Yeah. And he's like, then you keep doing this for a while, and you're like, man, those are the winners. It's like, you just work nine to five, come home, do whatever you want. You got your family. Yeah. Kids. You have free time. You got your not own even... house in seclusion. Yeah. He's well, like, I'm out here in fucking New York doing mics every night. <laughs> that shit sucks. That actually sucks. <laughs> well, the thing that no one, I mean, not no one, but like, when people who are people who have like fame lust, if you can't, if you're mentally disturbed by trying to gain fame, you're going to be equally, if not more, disturbed by the actually having fame because then there's the possibility of losing it. So it's never, it's a fucking, you're squeezing a wet bar of soap, dude. It's never going to fucking, you're equally like, oh my God, I'm not relevant anymore. And I don't know. Yeah, it, you never win, dude. It never stops. I think that's what happened to Tiffany Haddish is already saying some crazy shit. You, dude, I mean, you're right not really, you're not really fucking made to handle this shit, man. Yeah. To fucking look like having hundreds of thousands of people evaluate you and write about you every day. I can't We're handle We're designed it. for like 40 people <laughs> villages. I can't handle like one person on Reddit. <laughs> I can't handle one person like being like, yeah, that guy kind of sucks. I'm like driving around just like, fuck, dude, I fucking suck. <laughs> Delete the podcast. Because we're made for like 40 person, 50 person villages. So it's a big deal if like two people are like, yo, fuck that guy. You're like, you're designed to be like, Ah oh, shit! That's that's a change. that's a good sixteenth of the village, dude. Who's against me? Yeah, that could result in you getting fucked up. It it fucking crushes me. It's not if, good, if man. I get one negative review, I'm dude, just I'm telling such you, man. a fucking pussy about it half the time, and then other times I'm the man. I'm I've like, dude, I don't give a fuck. A I've, couple BLs in me, and yeah, I'm just like, yeah. dude, I don't give a. I've fuck. gotten better about it, but I can still be like, if I'll hear something, it'll kick around the old head, the old echo chamber for a while, where I'm like, I do have an annoying laugh, and I'm like. Oh, Oh, I remember that. I remember saying that. I to still you. remember I'm like, that. Somebody reviewed us and was like, "Somebody on that has an annoying fucking laugh." And I instantly I was like, "It's definitely me." And I was like, "It's definitely you." Yeah, but I just you if know, if you would have said that to me, I would have been like, "Fuck you, dude!" <laughs> I've been devastated. You took it well. I apologize for that. No, I don't care. That's the thing. I eventually am like, you get over it to where you're like, whatever, man. But my whole and this is like the YouTube shooter. I mean, I, she was like schizophrenic, <laughs> but it's like I was I, this dude this morning when I woke up from my weird meth dreams. I like woke up this morning and I was just like. Dude, that lady, like, if we, I mean, and it sucks because you can't go back to the village life. It just, it sucks. That's not good either. But it's like no. mentally, we're not, we're supposed to, like, you wake up, you, if to eat, you got to run around and exercise and hunt. Like, you're life and death all day long. So there's never this, like, what am I doing with my, you're running around doing stuff. And then, like, you're with 40 people, you're telling six stories, you're by the fire, people are eating fucking ayahuasca. And it's, you're just like, yes, this is fucking chill. Materially, it's uncomfortable. That's a, that's a, Materially, it's uncomfortable. This is a Joe Rogan theory. Mentally, it's... I mean, dude, I, I'm like... I, I see it. that. I, I believe it, too. I see that, but I also, dude, I love air conditioning and shit. But it's like, dude, if people... And I, I think it will... If people could fuse those two worlds, be like, all right, we have all of our shit, we're chill. And stop bugging themselves out to the max and being like, they're demonetizing my videos. <laughs> It would be a nice thing for people. I don't know. I don't think we'll ever get there. We won't. We're not. We we're won't. not. We're not designed to be like. that. I'm getting afraid of another world war after listening to this one. We're. De- I know, dude. We're designed to God be damn, like in forty people. You're designed to be in forty people and try to get to the top of that. But to like, if that goes to like four hundred million, now you're just like, I'll fucking never get to that. You freak, dude. You I freak th- and geek. Reading or listening to war stories should be fucking mandatory yeah. across the country, dude. If you break hey. in while they were out at a party. Sleep in their bed. Yeah, but apparently she claims like then there's like the, the things of like he like grabbed her and this and that's when it gets hazier. It's like if well, it just still the victim, pretty fucking good. Nah, you gotta believe the victim. I here, believe. Bro. I'm like, hey, he might have fucked you up, but he also between fucking you up wrote a good fucking book. So I'm gonna read it. I'm not gonna put it down. It's, it's fantastic, Shane. It's so fucking Matt, good. You, you know, sometimes we're, we're I'm, this podcast. You say some things, dude. Just, I mean, come on. Matt, where does it end? Is Matt, my, that's my thing. Where, where, are you, where are you stopping, dude? Earlier, you called black people monkeys. No, get the fuck then out of you here. Said you better hope we didn't delete that. Because was that part of a deleted thing? Because then no one's going to have any idea what we're talking about. Now you're a cat, you're fucking a hit piece of me, dude. So you said that earlier. Which no, we're talking about Roseanne. I didn't like you. Oh said, my you, God. you said you, I stand with her. Dude, you're going to play these games in and New York, dude. You're and saying, you're going to sink, dude. Yeah, right. You're going to play I'll these fucking. fucking bury you're playing identity politics, dude. <laughs> They're going to get you. No, I'm the identity <laughs> politics fucking puppet master, dude. I'm a fucking liberal now. 
I know, dude. That's I'm sick. liberal as fuck. You got red pilled by Dairy Queen, dude. I got blue pilled hard. <laughs> yeah, you got blue pilled. Dairy Queen blue pilled. <laughs> <laughs> There's this guy for the. Um, you've heard me talk about this guy and complain because he cyber bullies me. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people come over from the main board. Dude. The main board. There was a shadhead main board clash, there was. dude. The main board attacks Reddit, dude. Yeah, that was, civil war right now. that was great. It was like the Avengers, dude. You're Captain America, dude. I'm Iron Man. Just fucking. <laughs> that, was, that was so great having them come in. Yeah, it was. And there's so many people like, who the fuck are these guys, dude? I was fuck, like, dude. dude this gotta this is it. Got to live with them, dude. This is the new civil war. It is, dude. This this is awesome. a, there's a culture war happening on the Reddit. They're coming in trying to take our vibranium, dude. <laughs> they are, and we're fucking doing it. We're winning. I mean, I, I was crushing debates, dude. I just watched the fucking... Bunked him, you got dude. crushed, dude. Bullshit, dude. Fucking Dairy Queen school. It wasn't dude. even Dairy Queen. It was some other guy. Talking so head. Was it Talking head? I don't know. Someone else, dude. There's some wild boys on there too. Now, dude, I butt fucked some guy. guy named Corey from Homes Damn, coming dude. in swinging. Corey from Homes, a boy, dude. <laughs> some dry, <laughs> dropping some wild shit in there. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, you you uh, espoused some wild political debate or er, political opinions last episode. Now we got the boys fired. Uh, up. Everyone got fired got up. Proud dude. boys going. Everyone fired the fuck up. Yeah. Well, I also, my total thing was that I, I'm not so sure that it's not a complete psyop of getting people, like, back into the fold of, like, conservative Republic, like Republicans. Who's that? I mean, dude, imagine if someone was just knowingly dropping all these breadcrumbs on purpose to get people to become conservatives again. Because in all the QAnon things, the news they share, it's all Fox News. They're like, told you, told you so. I think that's the hard thing about believing internet conspiracy theories. Because then you, you can just be like, maybe this is a conspiracy theory too. Well, that's why they call it the rabbit hole, dude. When do you stop? There's no, there's no I mean, end. You, whether you want to believe it or not, there are people out operating outside of the rabbit hole fucking around. That's definitely true, but it's like... this is, You know what? We've also been getting a lot of complaints that our podcast is a little too preachy, but suck our dicks. Yeah. Suck our fucking dicks. Make a podcast and preach against us. Yeah, we're gonna drop some fucking World War Two jokes. Who's saying, Shout who out Liza Schlesinger. Anyway. Just one guy on the main board. Every time you say one that, it's guy one on the main guy. board. It's it, all I him. need is one person, <laughs> one person to give us any criticism. I was like, and it, dude, it fucking bounces around in my brain for a week. Oh, I just am like, get the if, fuck out of here. If one person is like, yeah, it's all right, I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Nah, you never can please everyone. Yeah, of course, but I don't know. Especially one guy. It's like... One guy hit me with that. Yeah, because you're like some enough. people. And I was like... If they're, I'm like, I was fucking... I'm like, wait, it's probably his sister. I was like, your no, sister no, no, probably no, says no. something. I'm like... Katie, she's been very supportive. Nice. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's one guy. And there's also people who are like, you know... And fucking A lot of turn people. it off. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, of course. I mean, we don't need you. We do need you August 11th at Helium 2, Comedy 900 Club. 2,900 people fired up. August 11th, Helium Comedy Club. I'm going to fight Club. you on stage. We're gonna f- who are you going to fight? The guy. He's that talking guy? shit, yeah. Uh, I'll tell him to be I'm there. i preach to you. I got, I got fucking... I got, two, I, got two, I got two preachers for you, dude. Yeah, dude. Here come fucking two hot-ass preachers. Give you a preachers. sermon on the mount, dude. Fucking. We'll give you a fucking sermon. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's, it all depends what I'm reading. If, yeah. What I'm feeling. If really? I'm, if I'm reading... Like, when I read... Uh, if I read Grapes of Wrath, I'm a fucking socialist. That's sick. It'll get me. Dude, that I, I, I'm telling you, I told you that before. That have any movie I watch, I'm that dude. I'm the main character yeah, for three yeah, days. Yeah, I walk hilarious. around and I'm that main character. And if I read a book, I read a book about that billionaire, like book Cosmopolis. Yeah. In my head all day, I'm riding around like. I Did you love, read it? Yeah, it was great. All right, I read it, dude. It's fantastic. That's where I got the term. For, that's where I got the idea of no touch lovers. What up, bro? Be back, dude. What up, bro? Our unparalleled sound quality is back. Oh man, I was the Sick. only one that gave a fuck. Yeah, no one gave a shit. Yeah, no one gave a fuck. Yeah. I'm happy we kept that. I, if we had had to redo that, that would have fucked me up. I was on the Reddit, dude, just looking at the reviews. People were excited. People liked People it, were dude. Very excited. I like shout out to Jonas God, dude. It's what good hot saying? cast. Just saying. I'm just saying it's a hot cast. Man, that feels good. <laughs> yeah. A good review on there means a lot. Also, we're one subscriber away from capping. Sixty nine, dude. We're gonna stop there. Yeah, we're gonna cap it off, you're right. <laughs> so if you're not subscribed to the Reddit, dude. This is your last chance. You better get in there. Imagine the mad scramble right now, dude. I took one. If I get a negative comment on there, who? Oh, yeah. Just you, took one. You got attacked from your other podcast. You well, did. I did a podcast last week called The Mean Boys Podcast. You can check it out. They're funny guys. Mm-hmm. But uh, this, I just was looking They're like at this. roasters. Yeah, they do They'll roast. They'll roast you. Yeah, they roast me. Watch out, good. dude. They're They'll like, roast you. Look like you. you have Down syndrome. I was like, yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> They're like, what do you think of us? I was like, I don't know. You look. You look Sh- like shitty. You guys are shitty. You're like you look like normal podcasters. 
No, they were they were actually really funny. Although they edited out one of my jokes, which I was bummed at. That's kind of lame, dude. I thought they were like edgy roasters. No, they're just they're just your standard like Miller Lite roasters, dude. They, that they're hurt like my office feelings. roasters. No, they're they're very, they're very edgy. But I think this was just because it was personal. Uh, the one guy was like, "Yeah, I fucked this black chick earlier this oh, weekend." Yeah, yeah. And then they were at the end of the. He was bragging about it. He was bragging about it a little. He was making a joke about it in his yeah. stand up, and they were good at stand up mm-hmm. for sure. And. uh he was talking about how it was the first time he fucked a black chick and all this stuff, and it was it was really funny. Um, it was he was making fun of it like uh, he was like it's kind of like when you like you see a dog finally catch up to a car. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I when I got to it, I was like, I don't know what. <laughs> like I was worried. <laughs> but then on the podcast, they were reading tweets that were like questions, mm-hmm. and some one of the listeners asked, he was like, "What's the craziest thing you've eaten on tour, or what's the worst thing you've eaten on tour so far?" And each guy was like. Uh, we had this soup in Detroit that was pretty bad. And I was like, hold on. Didn't you say you ate black pussy earlier? <laughs> and they were all like, oh, oh, oh dude, dude. <laughs> I was like, I thought you guys were edgy, bro. Yeah, that, that sucks. They and then can't. they deleted it. Yeah, that's lame, dude. No, nah, I understand. They're trying to have a career. That's true. They don't want to. Yeah. He couldn't eat. I mean, you could still leave it in and play. It's all on you, not them. Yeah, it is. It exactly. is what the fuck's wrong with you, dude? They can't have a. They can't have a Ugh. alt-right fucking edge lord like myself. That's true, dude. They couldn't they have you on the that. razor's edge. That's where I live, dude. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get on the safe edge tip, dude. Safe, Be like, be you look edgy, like a, a retarded person. <laughs> well, <laughs> was, they were good at that. They were really good at that. <laughs> like, if if we did a roast battle, they would fucking murder me. Yeah, I would end up just fighting. That's that's all I was like when we got done with the episode. I was like, I, my comebacks to them were so bad, and then I was like, because in my mind, I was just like, I should just fuck these guys up. Yeah, <laughs> like, they were like making jokes at me. And I was like, it would have been like one, two, guys. back and forth, and as soon as I was losing, I'm like, you're a fucking pussy, dude. I'll <laughs> yeah, fuck you that's up. That's all I got. You fucking, do- I would have freaked the hell out. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. Also, I had just opened for them. Well, they also kind of so, studied for you. They studied you a little bit. Nah, like, I mean, prepared not, it like a it, dossier. Also, that's another thing I don't get into roast battles for is because visually, I'm. Pretty easy to fucking crush. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, Mean Boys podcast, check it out. It's That's funny. tight. It's a good episode. But, uh, then I looked at their podcast or their Reddit, mm-hmm. and somebody, one of the reviews was like, man, fuck Matt and Shane's secret podcast. The yeah, things. dude. And it killed me. And then I. Oh, he only read the. Shane read the first sentence of someone like, usually I enjoy the guests, like, podcast, like the, the, the podcast of the guests you have on yeah. there. But this last one, I tried listening to it, and it was basically saying, like, it was shit. It was unlistenable. Yeah, they were like, we complain about how oppressed we are for being Trump supporters. I was like, it's what like, the dude, fuck? I'm not, I'm not even a Trump supporter. Shut the fuck up. I'm not I do complain about that. <laughs> <laughs> I complain, well, she was kind of on the head on What's that one. The, she got on, she tweeted. She was like, this was not funny. <laughs> I am not afraid of you. I, honestly, though, I, th- I think if you're going to make fun of transsexuals, giving them that voice is funny. You that can't is, say that's not funny. Well, that's their voice. Yeah. I guarantee that's how she typed out that Reddit post. I, She's like, I, I, normally I like your guest's podcast. <laughs> no. But yeah, you didn't even, you didn't investigate. I always I thought it was just some random. Whenever dude. I get critiques, I investigate the person to see like the validity of it. Turns out it was a Turns out it was like a, a trans dominatrix or someone who is like highly affiliated with trans dominatrix yeah. dominatrices. I will say this is not a podcast for trans dominatrixes yeah dominatrices true but <laughs> if they were to stumble upon this maybe they'd enjoy it i don't know it's like a fucking landmine like oh my god that was such a fun episode let me check it out and it was just like a slowly curling smile just like <laughs> what i don't talk like that no <laughs> no i don't talk like that well no <laughs> so yeah that was so shane guy i had to uh I had a nurse Shane back to life. And show get, I'm dude, like, buddy, this is just a fucking one negative weird review. dominatrix. I dude. just get put put on fucking Cage the Elephant, dude. walked down to get a fucking Italian hoagie from. The I love. I fucking love the haters, dude. It's like shake me down. <laughs> Not a lot of people left around. <laughs> Who knows now? I just push my sunglasses harder against my face, and I'm like, bring it the fuck on, dude. dude if, if I somebody, love it. Anybody hates on me, I'm fucking done. <laughs> That's not, I got. I'm gonna have to work on that. Yeah, dude, you got to start fucking nah, hating on everyone. Right. He's got. Right. He's got to start drinking promethazine cough syrup, dude. For sure, that works for rappers. You're just like for yeah. sure, for sure. So it was this ugly. Is, this it was is, ugly. Hold dude. On, I found. I found my detractors. It was statement. ugly. I found my haters. Let's statement. have it, dude. This is. Uh, I read this before I went on. 
<laughs> before I went on stage, I read this guy. I was arguing with people. Why they, do you do this to yourself? So this guy was like, all of Peterson's listeners and followers are clowns. Same with most of the Rogan Rogan listeners. Uh, and that fucking loser, Shane, whose shtick as an unfunny comedian is to be a fat oaf and talk about PC culture and liberals. It's not even your shtick. That's dude. what I said. I was like, well, how is that my fucking shtick? Talk about yourself. Yeah. Anyway, I was like, what, yeah. What uh, podcast does he listen to? I, I'd be curious. I don't about. know. But I, I don't get the Rogan hate, too. Rogan's uh, the man. I, I don't get the Peterson. I get the Peterson hate, but I attribute it to small mindedness. So it's like, I get it, but if you watch enough of his stuff, it's all he's telling people is to take it. Take I know. So what, what happens responsibility with, for your own life? In my opinion, what happens a lot with Peterson, and we're back. No, what it's happens not with political. Peterson a lot it's is about like, the comment. Is like, so Peterson will talk about how he's like, witches are in swamps. There's a reason they're in swamps. Mm -hmm. So it's like he uses these silly, like you can dismiss them as silly. You can. He's like, the movie Frozen, it's just, it's propaganda. That's all it is. And like, so in order to combat that, you can just be like, who are you listening to? That fucking YouTuber that's railing on fucking Disney movies? That's exactly my point. So that's, but if you're high in openness like me, it's like I'm highly open to archetypical ideas like that. So I can be like, all right, I get what you're saying. I'm not going to just judge the man on, you know. Dude, the shut up. I'm just a fat oaf. And I'm, I mean, I'm an INFP, bro. I'm, my, one, I'm whole, 1%. I'm my INFP. Whole, dude, my whole shtick as an unfunny comedian <laughs> is to be a fat oaf that talks about PC culture and liberals. Who is this guy, dude? I don't know. He's some, I mean, guy, he's some guy from fucking Oregon. Ugh. He's fans. I, th there's like a fan of section, uh -huh. and it shows you what teams they like. He likes the MLS Portland Timbers. As soon as I saw he liked MLS Portland Timbers, I was like, all right, this guy's a fucking dweeb. Oh, Major League Soccer? Yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. We got to get him over to the fucking. The and then board, DQ, dude. dude. Dairy Queen's in there. Not defending me at all. Of course not, dude. Dairy Queen's a little fucking snake, dude. Of course. Dude. I'm in there getting. I'm. Getting torn to shreds. Dairy just slithering around between boards, dude. Slithering like the liberal snake he is. So people jumped on with this guy? No, not really. Because then I, I was like, here's... I posted a clip of me doing stand-up. Yeah. And I was like, here's... I mean, I spend more time making fun of Republicans than I do liberals. Yeah. And fuck you. So I was like, I mean, you definitely have the fat oaf right. You poor <laughs> Gonian bitch, dude. Yeah, but it's like... Jesus Christ. I just don't get it. And I, mean, I didn't I get even, it. I didn't even in the thread. I wasn't even like defending he just Jordan Peterson. Summoned you, dude. What? He just summoned you and tagged. He just mel he he melded you into Jordan Peterson, Peters Jordan Peterson, Rogan, and then Gillis, dude. True. He did fucking king make me. But Jeez. also, it's like I wasn't even in there defending Jordan Peterson. I was just like, why are you guys like? If if you think he's this fucking complete loser, don't listen to it. Then shut the fuck up. Yeah. And, like, maybe, go, yeah, say he's a complete loser, but, like, listen to it, if that's going to be your take. Listen to what he says a little. But I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever. They don't, dude, it's, it's just, I'm telling you, I've watched. I didn't think I was going to end up. I've watched 30. Suck our dicks. Uh, buy my fucking book, dude. What do oh, I mean, nice. Buy yeah, buy Overlook, dude. It's been going pretty well. Really? Fuck yeah. yeah. I did a podcast, dude. I, uh, oh, nice. These guys were talking about it. They were saying they, uh, they were like, really liked it. Like, yeah, Every time someone tell, I was telling them, I'm like. I'm like, well, thanks. I appreciate that. And they go, oh, come on, man. I'm like, dude, if all it takes is one person. If, like, they were saying, like, you should sell it in stores. And I'm like, I, you know, I, I haven't had the time to even, like, go out and start marketing it. But I'm like, if I were to go to a store with it and the guy were to, like, in my head, someone just leave through and be like, <laughs> like, dude, get the fuck out of here with this. That's like, it would take one person to do that. And I'm like, oh, I fucking suck. I fucking suck. That's, I know, that's how I feel. Yeah, man. If I have like, one person criticize me online. I fucking suck. It's a month. I can handle online. Crit I still so, get mad. Not a month, but it's a week. It's all right. It's it's at least a day. Yeah. Straight of me being like total reassessment. I'll fucking kill that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I go through yeah, every yeah. stage. <laughs> right away, I'm just like, dude, fuck this fucking You're pussy. Just the step dude. And then the next stage, I'm like, lights. maybe that guy's right. Maybe I fucking suck. <laughs> dude, if somebody hits me with political shit, mm -hmm. I reassess everything immediately. Damn, dude. For real. I have my my political system is garbage. I have no firm beliefs. I mean, no. You, anybody I listen to, I'm just like, yep, that's right. <laughs> like anything. <laughs> that's hilarious. At least you can admit. I it. can get it. if somebody gives a speech, I'm just like, hell yeah, yeah. Well, that was Mark. Mark. I was into this guy Terrence McKenna when I was younger, and his whole thing was like, yeah, I know him. Yeah, he's just all about like eating. He, he coined the Stone Dave theory about how we develop consciousness through eating mushrooms. 
that's like a disastrous dude to be real into in your 20s because he is his, his thing is just like take psychedelic drugs fuck everything everything's bull- it's, you know and obviously he's a really good I speaker I think some of that's worn off on you oh if, he kept some of his what you're saying is tenants. rubbed off totally yeah not like dude not when I was living in my undisturbed ecosystem I was like when I was in a ha- I was in that house with like no <laughs> never trash ladybugs him. ladybugs and spiders, spiders and dude Jesus I had everything Christ. stray cats came in you're, and out you had fucking black dudes in tube talks tube talks <laughs> walking through <laughs> I know. scurrying through your house I wish yeah, that's I, I got I got roasted. Uh, I got roasted on the main board today. For what? Pretty fucking funny. Uh, you, we we were talking on the last episode about that sick collage of me playing football. <laughs> yeah. First off, somebody got mad that we called it a collage because what else is it supposed to be? What was it supposed to be? Called? I don't know. I don't know what you would call that. Vision, but I guess I mean, it's like, not a vision board. It's just it's a bunch of pictures in one frame. It's a fucking collage. But they're not touching each other. I think a collage is like a cut up, mashed together. Yeah. And it whatever. has word. Right, right It'll right. have like friendship. Makes and, like... no difference. <laughs> yeah. But somebody had a problem with it. I was like, man, why are these people all dickheads? And then uh, they were like, post the pictures. We want to see them. So I posted a picture on there. That must have been the silencer. Just dude. to be like, like, I was like, look at this raw fucking power. And then, uh, of course, Dairy Queen, dude, hit me with the fucking ice burn, dude. What he He's said. like, so you did the reverse Louis Elastic. Like, he posted a picture of the fat guy from Remember the Titans. Yeah. And then the fat guy that became uh, the white supremacist in American history. I mean, it's the same guy. He was like, this, this is basically your life. <laughs> Damn, dude. It was pretty good. I was Terry like, Queen is a motherfucker. That was actually good. That's pretty fucking funny. And then I was, I mean, it was so good that I was like, it made me rethink my, my attitude, dude. I was sitting there, like, after I got made fun of that hard, I was like, Every time I get made fun of on here, I'm like, man, these guys are mean. <laughs> I might just be a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, I might just be an idiot punching bag. And then I get made fun of, and I'm like, man, these guys are real fucking dickheads. <laughs> it's like, no, you're a fucking idiot. That's really fucking funny. I, so that was, you know, I'm getting close to actually being cyberbullied. That's cyberbullying. I mean, dude. Where on, it makes me think, like, maybe I am a piece of shit. I mean, someone's <laughs> going, yeah, when someone's really digging into the archive. Like, my brothers got in a fight recently and, like, started fucking trashing each other. And, like, dude, it's, like, the most cutting, bitter shit oh, yeah, in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, like, I'm watching it just, like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, you got to swing for the fences. On anyone else, dude, that would be, like, I'm calling the cops. I'm going to therapy. Yeah. Because if you hit someone too hard to where they start re- thinking about their life, it's yeah. like you fucking hit them with an atom bomb. My dude. two sisters, dude. <laughs> oh, no. oh, baby. Would they get you? No, each other. Oh my god, dude! It's unbelievable. They would like, they would like come home hammered together. Sometimes this is like ten years ago. Mm-hmm. Like when they would still go out to the bars together in Harrisburg, and they would like come home, and I'd I'd be awake. And they'd come home just both blacked out and just saying, this is why you're nobody will fucking marry you, you piece of shit. Oh, it's just like, holy shit. Damn, dude. Yeah, they're brutal. Yeah, that's tough. That's actually, no, it, it's sort of related, but it, I was talking to, uh, well, I was sitting there with Brittany, and I was talking to Sonya Blade, dude, valuable <laughs> listener. She was saying, we were talking, me and Sonya are talking about just 24-year-olds in general, about like, you know, when you're 24, you think this and that. Yeah. And uh, my girlfriend's 27 now. So she was like, "Oh, come on, guys, stop talking about me." And I'm looking at her. I was like, "I was like, we're not. You're 27. Ooh. You're not 24, dude." It was so fucking funny. She was oh. like, "Fuck you." <laughs> oh, you burned her heart. Yeah. But I'm like, dude, you're not. And yeah. I know other people that that like have this thing where they're like, <laughs> "No, I'm still a young kid." And if someone has to be like, "No, you're not. You're you're 20. You're about yeah, to be 28." Yeah, yeah. It's like, sorry, 30. It's over. 30 was the real. It's, there was a guy that one time when I was working uh, doing demolition. I like this guy. I was like, "Damn, man, you look." Re- I used to look really, really young. And then there was a, like this other guy who worked with me. He was like three years older, and he's like, "Yeah, man, look at I look. Don't how old do you think I look?" And the guy was like thirty five, and he's like, "Well, I'm thirty three, but yeah, a lot of people think I look." Younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. That's the worst. I was dying. Yeah, now that my hair started to recede a little, mm-hmm. like if I'm like, yeah, I, gotta, not really I look pretty though. young. People are like, "No, you don't." <laughs> I aged hard as shit in like three years, dude. Since I moved here, I got old as fuck. Yeah, it'll happen. And then, uh, yeah, turning thirty was the the a real uh, yeah. It's like I'm definitely not young anymore. Well, you, people, it's weird because you never really, no one's ever, they don't blow the whistle and they're like, all right, dude, game, let's go. It's just you're kind of like I'm a little kid, I'm a kid, and you're like yeah, I'm a teenager, and mm-hmm. then you're like 24 and you're like I'm still young, and then like one day you're 27, and someone's like, 
hi, dude, what the fuck's going on? You're like, oh, I, I don't know. I, you yeah, know. yeah, yeah. It's like, what have you done with your life? It's like, uh, I'm only I, was, 20. I was decent at high school football. So like, <laughs> well, people are going to live till like over 110 20. years ago. I was pretty sweet. That's my new <laughs> argument. It's like, dude, we're going to live till 120. So let's fucking <laughs> slow it down. <laughs> I'm right on time, baby. <laughs> You've done it. You got acting, novel, stand up. Philadelphia champion. Yeah, I mean, podcaster, still. elite podcaster. I mean, dude, you've got, dude, you've got plenty of irons. I got, hey, I don't, I don't delude myself about who I am, dude. You know, and you're a dog trainer. You bother animals. I bother animals, dude. You I was bother, reading. You bother animals, your own animals, so greatly that they impede on other animals' lives. Yeah, I had to go out.